All right, Coach, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State in TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. This crowd excited to see their Jaguars as both teams emerge from their tunnels a moment ago. We are just about ready for football as the Jags get set to match up with the Los Angeles Chargers. Two teams trying to stake their claim to postseason football. Week 14 of the NFL is underway. This is fielded at the goal line. They go with Leonard Fournette, third year back from LSU. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give him the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy. And that's what they're And that's going to be intercepted. It's the all-pro safety, Derwin James. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Well, not a good omen there. His first throw of the afternoon intercepted. And I know what the fans are thinking right now. I hope there's not negative thoughts in his head going forward since that's his first throw of the game. But one of the things that I remember about him coming out of school is he's able to wipe things away pretty easily and move on. Tackle in time by Ronnie Harrison. <laughs> to throw on second down. Herbert. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. Let's go, D. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be stopped just outside the 5 at the 6. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Defensively here, you're facing a top-five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high-powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20 because, to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, you give, yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so because then you turn it into a shootout. And, that means and he takes it in for a Charger touchdown from six yards away as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed, aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him improve throughout the year. We've seen him settle in now, and you can see the confidence of the team has grown. His confidence has grown. I think that everyone around this guy feels good. Oh, and this is going to wind up a safety. And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defensive huddle, they actually call a set and then say at the end of it, get a safety. So it's preached, it's coached, it's thought about. Chargers in good field position to start out. First and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. Looking to throw. Herbert, he'll rifle this one deep right side. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. Touchdown, LA. A big play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Chargers, they're able to widen their lead. 
Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know. And that pass is going to be intercepted by the all-pro DB Desmond King. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. First quarter, and now he already has two interceptions. Yeah, he's got a guard against being tentative from this point forward, though. He's got to still make the right reads, make the proper throws. I've seen guys in this league throw four interceptions in a game and win. He's got to understand, put it behind you, keep pressing forward. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw. Herbert. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked by Ronnie Harrison. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having... A lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Well, they did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out of it as they did. Yeah, decent little gain. Puts them in a pretty good spot for second down. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Desmond King there on the coverage. And this pass defense, they were sensational in the win last week, and they're looking good here so far in this first quarter. You know how we often talk about how offenses get locked in and that runs over multiple games where they're really, you know, in that zone? Defenses can be the exact same way, and I think we're seeing it. And a big one here as he's taken down. Ochenna Nuosu in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. And they're picking up right where they left off with the shutout that they pitched last week. A huge part of that, this pass rush. They know how to get after people. Offensively, good luck finding some answers right now. A great return there of 22 yards. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. This is intercepted. Picked off at the 24. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates are going to check on it. Because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. To throw is Newton. 
Escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete here. No grounding call there. He had a receiver near the right sideline. It was pretty clear there. He just needed to get rid of that one. And he did have a receiver in the area, but initially my view was obstructed, and I thought that was going to be grounding, but clearly the correct call made, and that is no call. Is that why you threw your play sheet down? Is that why you did it? Was that the flag? You can't be giving me up. I got a lot of issues up here in the booth. Play action. It's Newton. And Eifert has it. And they got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That one goes for 24 yards. They fake the give. Newton. Took him five tries, but he is able to complete that first pass of the game. And could you hear the exhale all the way up here? <laughs> Not just from him, coaching staff, offensive line, receivers. Now he's off the schneid. Can they get him going in a nice groove where he becomes a little more consistent throwing the football? Because like, you miss those first two, but you get up the 0 for, 4, 0 for 4 range. That can be a little tricky, but able to settle in, hopefully. Yeah, now you won't have any confidence issues. Now you can kind of get it back, even with just one throw. On first and 10, Newton. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Another dangerous throw there, partner. I mean, he's already thrown two interceptions here in the first half. I don't know if you want to keep throwing up 50-50 balls and you've had that kind of lack of success. Yeah, absolutely. Very well. Could have been a third interception in half number one. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. To throw again, Newton to Thompson on the screen. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. They wound up getting nothing out of that second down completion. So now here's third and 10. Throwing is Newton. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. Desmond King there on the coverage. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. Doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. And this is going to be intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, when you start thinking of guys that are in the mix for Defensive Player of the Year, I think you use him as Exhibit A. Maybe he's not the leading guy right now, but he's at least on the periphery and deserves to be in the discussion. And because of that, He's looking at a game today where in order to make that big move and maybe become the guy, he needs multiple takeaways, multiple big plays, things that get our attention and reverberate for weeks to come. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Off the play fake, Herbert. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Four yards the pick up, first down. First down, Chargers. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And now the rookie's free. 20. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. A great effort there. His 
the 17th touchdown now on the season. For the Chargers, they're able to widen their lead. Badgley on for the extra point. And that PAT pushes the lead up to 23 now. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. Dancing to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The so, coach. All right, we get slap happy up here sometimes. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They are going to go for it. It's Newton. The open man is Shark. It's complete. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Newton now to throw. He's going to look deep. And that ball is caught by D.J. Chark for the Jags touchdown. D.J. Chark, his 14th touchdown now on the year. As they are now on the board here in the first half. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. And he is not going to get in here. So the decision to go for two does not pay off as they're unable to cut any further into their deficit. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout. 
as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Looking to throw. Herbert, he's going to fire one deep. He's got a man complete. The 20, 10, touchdown L.A. A big play there. 88 yards. The Chargers, they're able to widen their lead. Brandon, my man, just one sentence for that one. Clinic. And that's what they've done. They lead the league in points per game this season, but it's been quick strike ability as we saw on that drive. I think they're actually intimidating defenses because they're back on their heels right away, wondering where it's going to come from, how they're going to hit them. This group is well organized, well coached, and extremely confident in what they do. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got And that's going to be intercepted. It's the all-pro safety, Derwin James. And a great return here gets this one all the way down to the 26-yard line. You're trailing. You're trying to get points late in half. I absolutely understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball, you can't get those points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. And the Jags have five in the secondary here on third down. to throw. Herbert. Oh, he may have gotten lucky. Tried to dump it off underneath on the check down. Nearly picked. Instead, it's incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. Badgley able to punch this one through. The Chargers, a team that's really been plagued by poor field goal kicking the last decade or so, but I think they feel they've solved their problems with Badgley. I would say so. He went 15 for 16 in 10 games last season, undrafted out of Miami. And remember, he had five field goals in the playoffs against the Baltimore Ravens. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. Ready. An incomplete Ready. pass leads He's to 20. second and 10 from the 25. 95, Mike. Watch 95. Ready. They'll fake the handoff. Ready. Now Newton. Ready. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach and our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here we go. 
The Charger drive about to get going. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and ten. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Gibson. Oh, he shifts past him. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Looking to throw. Herbert, that one caught by Gibson. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 23 yards on the play. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the rush coming, and he's taken down. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range, and that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Allen, the intended receiver, third down here. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. Throwing on third and long. Herbert, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Josh Allen in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. The roughing the kicker call on fourth down. What a big break. Leads to a first and ten. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage. Back at the 17. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Well, this has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14. Second and 14. Got a man. It's Allen for the Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen with touchdown number eight on the year. As his guys continue to put this one out of reach. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Extra point by Badgley up and good, and the lead will swell by one more. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. He'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line.
The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Throwing on second down. Newton. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. And now here is another interception. Picked off around the 37. And the return will stop right around the 25. Just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirts. Yeah, he better figure, whatever the reason is, he better figure it out. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now a handoff here to his running back. And an alley to run. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that will extend this big lead. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. So the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Nasir Adderley, the rookie from Delaware. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Come. I got him, I got him. Throwing to start the drive. Herbert flushed out right. He's got a man. That's Keenan Allen. Let's go, Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. With the score, Chargers 47. Jaguars 6. 60 out more. Mike is 59. Mike the 59. And let's get this. Hit it. On first down, Gibson. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. A great effort there. His third touchdown of the game, number 19 on the year. And the interception by the Chargers D leads to a touchdown. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And the lead will swell by one more. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback.
Here go. The go. Jacksonville right, offense three. set to begin their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Second down, a little more productive than first. Seven yards on the gain. It gets him to third and three now. Out of the gun, Newton. And that is incomplete. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. They snap it to Newton. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Joey Bosa. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. Here we go. Here we go. 90 Wolf. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Off play action. Herbert letting one go deep for the end zone. And nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. All day, every day, any day. Hey, Zoom. Throwing again. Herbert. Got a man. It's Allen for the Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year as his guys continue to pour it on. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that will extend this big lead. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down. Turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points up. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. They run with Thompson, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Now Newton, and now here is another interception. Picked off by Nasir Adderley, the rookie from Delaware. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Yet another interception, and I just had to double-check my math. But it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used the calculator. I didn't worry about double-checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot... They're trying to figure out what they can do to change it, and sometimes they try too hard, and they never get out of it. And that's where he is right now. He's just locked in in a really bad way. Looking to throw on second down. Herbert, and this is complete. It's Allen, and he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Chargers capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And the lead will swell by one more. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now 
The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start the Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Off play action, Newton. And the pressure gets to him again. Ochina Nuosu. He's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Newton out of throw. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Joey Bosa in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Here's Logan Cook now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And the Chargers will be set up pretty well as they take over in great field position. Let's go now. 15, one, 15, one. Watch the curl, watch the curl. Ready, ready. They'll run on first down. It's Gibson. Big Al Woods there to make the tackle. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. Now it looks like he'll throw here. They'll let this go for the end zone. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And a coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that. And they get to Newton and take him down for the sack. Joey Bosa has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. Third and long, it's Newton. Now a desperation throw deep downfield, and that'll be incomplete. Well, they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty, and it's fourth down. Here's Logan Cook now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. Take it at the 37. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. 70, Indy. Mike to 59. Here we go, here we go. Hey, Charlie. Yo, five. On first and 10, Herbert. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. Back to throw now on second and 10. He's going to let it go in zone for Allen. 
Good. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Keenan Allen, the intended receiver. But now it's third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Hurry, hurry. Step. From the gun, Herbert. And he's got a man open. That's Allen. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. We take a Throwing on first down, Herbert. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Badgley on for the extra point. Now, this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They're just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coach. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Nasir Adderley, the rookie from Delaware.